Hi, I'm Swani Kashyap from the channel of Brainy Presentation. Now, today in this video, I will be telling you how to create a flat animation which is super easy to make. Now, with respect to today's video, I have a small fictitious story to share with you all. So, are you all excited? So, let's begin. Now, due to some official work, I was shifted from India to Spain and from Spain I was shifted to Ukraine and from Ukraine I was again shifted to Iceland but I was not very much uh, happy in staying Iceland so I decided to move again to my house to Spain. Hey, so are you all in interested to make this kind of super easy flight animation in Office 365 or any other windows that you have? So it is super easy to create. So now let's create one. Firstly, to create this beautiful flight animation effect, we need to first have a blank slide and in the blank slide, we'll be adding a picture of any political map. Uh, if you want uh, any other country political map, then you are always welcome to add there. But for this video purpose, I am only satisfied with the city of Europe. So firstly, we need a uh, aeroplane symbol. So I am taking a basic text box from the basic shapes gallery. And now I am uh, selecting this text box anywhere on my slide. And now on the insert tab, I'm going to symbol. And in symbol, I'm choosing under the wingdings option, this aeroplane symbol, and I'm going to insert it. Beautiful. So now I'm selecting this piece of font and now I'm going under the home tab and now I am uh, selecting a size for it uh, basically you can choose 96 or 88 so I think 96 is a very much decent size for this font I am starting from Spain if you want any other country then you are always welcome to uh, do so we need a starting point like this red one so let's create this red point <coughs> which is marked as a part a point so i'm making a small pointer so this is perfect and now i will uh, place it somewhere over here and now i am going to give it a fill shape so i'm going in the fill shape option and say red color and in the shape outline, I am uh, choosing as no outline. And in shape effects, I am going in presets and adding one of my favorite pre presets that is preset 1. And so, this is really, really elegant and beautiful. Now, I am selecting this piece of font. And now, I am going in the arrange. And then, I am selecting the first option which is bring to front. Now, what will happen is this aeroplane will come just in front of our pointer now we need to demarcate a line here now we need a line so i am going in the basic shapes gallery pick up this simple line tool and stretching it all the over to ukraine or if you want any other uh, country to be demarcated so it can be also done so now I am going in the shape outline I am choosing a black outline and I will uh, always increase the weight of it to say uh, four and a half points and now I will right click on this line and I will be choosing the second last option format shape and it will open me a box on the right side of my presentation 
and in the box I can choose a compound type for this line and say it to double <coughs> okay alright so now I am going in the format tab and under the format tab where the shape effects option is given you just click on the small arrow and then go to glow uh, if you want any glow variations so I highly recommend to choose this grow 8 point blue ascent color 1 so this is very much decent so now we need this piece of text to move it move on a click from here to here so we'll also need a pointer here also to demarcate so now I am pressing I am selecting this small circle or you can may add one circle here if you are unable to uh, duplicate it so I am making another small pointer for this area okay and now I am again filling the shape of red shape outline say no outline and shape effects my favorite preset one or if you want any other preset to be inserted here it can be done so here are two points to demarcate the points now first let us check that if this yes as I was thinking that this piece of text is under the line but we want it over the line so we can select this text go in the arrange and say to bring to front okay so this piece of text is in the front okay so in this video only I will be telling you how to go from here to here and then take a turn and then go grow go from here to here I will be not showing this part uh, because if you first know these two parts only then it will be really really easy for you to make any uh, more than three sides so now let us select and duplicate this aeroplane I am pressing ctrl D first let us select this text now press ctrl C and then press ctrl V and again select this and then go in the font size and say it to 88 ok and now I can place it all the over here where it will reach the point okay so now I am selecting this piece of text the first aeroplane I am going under the animations tab and now I will be opening the animation pane so you all can follow me and now I will be choosing this aeroplane going in the custom animations and in animations I am choosing it to appear and then I am selecting now, then I will be selecting this A pointer and I am going to say it to fade ok so it has faded so this fade will f appear first and then this uh, piece of text which is our aeroplane it will happen just after that so I am uh, uh, choosing it to after previous ok so now when it will appear then it will go from all the way here to here so now I am again selecting this piece of text and remember to choose add animation because if you will choose the custom animations from here only then the previous animation which is selected for this it will automatically vanish and now I am here in the add animations one and now I am going to say it to I am going in the motion parts and I am going to say to line and in the line effect options I am going to say it to write ok and now 
this piece of text will go all the way to over this aeroplane so this is perfect and now I'm going to say to uh, after previous and just remain the duration as whatever it is now I'm going to play it all okay so first the our pointer has appeared in our presentation and then the aeroplane and then it goes from all the way here to here now we need this line to uh, just wipe in when, when this aeroplane moves all the way from here to here so I'm going in the selection I'm going in the, the home tab and I will be choosing under the editing option I'm choosing this select option and in select option I will be choosing this selection pane and I am going to say the straight connector so yeah this straight connector is the, the basically this line is selected for me so now I am going to say to wipe in okay and now it will be from left and the duration of this will be as same as the duration for the aeroplane so I am going to do it to 2 seconds and this will be with previous so I am closing this selection pane so let's see a preview of what we have done till now so yeah this is perfect and now comes to the second part now when this piece of text which is basically our aeroplane when it reaches from here to here this has to be turned and it has to be turned to go all the way from here to here now for this first this piece of text has to be uh, disappeared so I am going in the add animation and in the under the exit option I am choosing the first option which is disappear ok and this will happen after previous and now I am again going in the home tab in the selection pane and now I will be choosing uh, ok this piece of aeroplane so now I am going to uh, just hide this and select this pointer B which is the oval 7 and now I'm going to the animations tab under the animations tab I'm choosing the custom animations and in the custom animations I'm choosing to zoom in yeah, zoom in and it will happen just after it disappears so I'm uh, bringing it again back and I'm closing the selection pane again now yeah, okay. now this oval will be zoom in so for this oval also the first oval we can apply the zoom animation to this also ok so this is also perfect and now when after this plane disappears we have to need to uh, select this plane and make it to appear so I'm going here under the animations tab and I'm choosing the custom animations the first option in the entrance one and I'm choosing appear and in appear I will be this will be on click and this will be the oval entrance will be after previous so let's take a small look till now what we have done ok this was perfect and now I am going in the slideshow mode on a click this circle enters and this used to come here as well and on the second click it appears so I don't want this uh, this second plane to be appear when I am 
second clicking it so now I am going it here and I am choosing it to with previous okay this was the exact thing that I wanted to show you all so our first phase of animation is properly done so now what we'll gonna do is that we'll select this second aeroplane and now we'll have to turn it we have to turn it to go to all the way to Iceland so now I'm going in the add animations tab and add animations tab I'm going under the custom animations and in custom animations I'm selecting this fourth option under the emphasize box and this is spin animation so I don't want a 360 rotation so and I don't want a clockwise turn I want a counterclockwise turn so I'm going under the effect options and in the effect options just select it and choose 140 degrees and press enter as if you will not press enter then it will be a big mistake which you will be doing so remember to press enter then press ok so yeah this was perfect so now when it turns it has to be moved from here to here now I'm again going under the home tab and in the home tab I am going in the select selection pane and I am again choosing the straight connector which is basically my line and now I am pressing ctrl C on my keyboard and then pressing ctrl V and it will automatically give me another line so I am selecting this and with the help of these two white arrows I will be connecting this Ukraine to Iceland alright this is also perfect so now I want this to be bring it to front okay and this straight connector will be it will not wipe from left now it will wipe from right okay and now let's see in the slideshow mode what we have now till done first click it appears it goes all the way here second click it turns okay As you all can see here I have done some minor adjustments as there was some mistake over here so now it is very much recovered and now I am again making or just going under the selection pane and just selecting the oval and now pressing ctrl C on my keyboard and pressing ctrl V to make a duplicate of this circle and now I will be placing it all the way here okay and now I want this to happen with previous okay and now I want this animation add animation now I'm going under the motion path and say a line animation and in line animation I'm choosing it to from left now I am selecting this all the way up here ok this is perfect and now I am selecting it this to uh, after previous and now I am reordering the animations so please keep an eye on the animation pane ok and 
yes so yeah our whole animation is done and now we'll see a preview of our animation in the an in the slideshow mode now on a click i move from spain to ukraine now on a second click it rotates and then it goes from all the way here to here as you can see the line is not that much okay so now i am uh, moving this line with a straight connector from the way to going under the home tab select selection and in the straight connector 9 I am choosing this to be here and I am selecting again selecting this uh, one last thing I am selecting this second aeroplane and now I am bringing it to front ok so now let's have once again last time let's have a preview of it first click it appears and from Spain it goes to Ukraine and on the second click it rotates and all the way it goes from Ukraine to Iceland So this was the whole animation of today's video and if you first basically understand this animation then you will be able to create uh, and rotate it from here also to here. So for now I am now ending this video here only. So if you have any doubts please mention in the comments I read everyone's comment comments. So for now please please I request everyone to please subscribe to my videos and, sub and give as many likes as you can. So for now uh, bye bye stay home stay safe and God bless you all.